After the long wait to get back to Anfield, the main stand is finally complete. I have heard nothing but fantastic things about how beautiful it is and what a great atmosphere it'll already add to the best venue in all of world football, in my biased opinion. And Liverpool are now getting ready to take on the defending league champions Leicester City at Anfield, the home opener for Liverpool on Saturday. It'll be the late game, so I and uh, every other uh, American Liverpool fan will be very thankful for that late kickoff. Gives us a nice chance to sleep in. So, heading into this game, you know, Liverpool uh, will, fortunately did not have any players uh, come back truly injured from the international break. Yes, there was that uh, injury scare with uh, Sadio Mane while he was away with Senegal, but fortunately, uh, just a false alarm, he is going to be fit to play, and he's going to be the X factor. He's going to play just a massive role for the Reds. You know, many people are backing him to put his name on the score sheet first, and that certainly would not surprise me. He has just gotten off to a fantastic start to life at Anfield. Now, uh, Leicester City has not had an ideal start to the season. You know, uh, they opened up the year with uh, a tough loss, uh, played to a nil-nil draw, against Arsenal, but certainly an opponent that cannot be taken lightly. You know, they have uh, so much talent. You know, they have a, a great team chemistry. And, you know, really their only major loss from last season was uh, N'Golo and Kante, which was certainly a huge one nonetheless. But, you know, they signed uh, Islam Slimani on deadline day, the uh, Algerian forward. And I'll be interested to see if he makes an appearance in this game. Uh, not sure if he's going to start be on the bench, or uh, what have you, but he will play uh, a critical role moving forward, if not for tomorrow's game. You know, Jamie Vardy uh, gave Liverpool fans nightmares with that absolutely incredible volley uh, last year in the two teams played. But, you know, uh, the player that really scares me the most uh, as a Liverpool fan is Riyad Mahrez. You know, Mahrez is just uh, an incredible player. I think he is a world-class uh, he is on a bit of a rough patch lately in terms of penalty kicks. He's missed three out of his last four. So with his penalty shooting uh, woes and Simon Mignolet being an incredible shot stopper, that would be a less stressful situation than usual should it occur. Hopefully it does not. But, you know, uh, Leicester City's attack is going to be uh, very scary indeed. Now, uh, their defense cannot be taken lightly either. You know, Robert Huth and Wes Morgan have turned out to be a very... Very strong pairing, you know, Morgan uh, captains that side and is uh, a great leader, uh, is great at getting out and blocking balls and, you know, just getting into the way of shots. So it'll be interesting to see how the Liverpool attack shapes up against a stout uh, and solid Leicester defense. Now, uh, Philippe Coutinho came back from international duty. He's put the miles on playing with Brazil, uh, or I guess in his case, kilometers. But, you know, Coutinho, uh, I think, should be ready to go, be fit to play. Uh, Firmino, you know, is going to play. And I, I love Bobby, but uh, I'm unfortunately, it seems like with the way things are playing out now, his starting at the forward position comes at the expense of Divock Origi and Daniel Sturridge playing. And those are two guys who I would really, really like to see out on the pitch but as long as Jurgen Klopp continues to employ the 4-3-3, it seems almost inevitable that, you know, Sturridge and Origi are going to get left on the bench. So, uh, you know, Klopp loves Adam Lallana and his pressing ability. I certainly think uh, Lallana is going to get the start uh, in all likelihood. Gini Wijnaldum will as well. And uh, Jordan Henderson still has a lot to prove. I mean, played poorly against Burton Hove Albion, played dreadfully against Burnley, and to be fair, he did play better the last time out against Tottenham, so that was a step in the right direction, but he still has a long way to go to prove that he's Liverpool material, which is kind of odd considering that he is the team captain, but uh, would back him to start because we're not sure if uh, Emre Chan is fully recovered from his ankle injury. Meanwhile, it seems like it's almost an almost certainty that uh, three of the back four will be at center backs Joel Matip, Dijon Lovren and Nathaniel Klein, not 100% sure who will start left back, although my gut tells me James Milner will start over Alberto Moreno. And although Loris Karius uh, is 
back in training, which is an awesome sight to see. So excited for his future. I do believe that they're going to be very careful not to rush him back. You know, the hands are uh, so important for a goalkeeper. Can't afford to have that be a lingering issue. So I do believe that uh, Simon Mignolet will uh, end up in starting in goal. So my prediction for this match is Liverpool 2, Leicester City 1. We've got Riyad Mahrez scoring for the visitors. And Sadio Mane getting his name on the score sheet along with Bobby Firmino. So with that, I bid you adieu. And as always, you will never walk alone.